Alright guys, so follow up to the last video. I mentioned that I was switching out my this bag, my EDC bag, uh, slash gym bag, slash off body carry bag, slash slash slash. Um, and I mentioned some flaws with this bag, so I'm not gonna go into those, but I am looking to replace it, so I did get I narrowed it into three options. And we're gonna go over a couple of those options and do a one by one kind of segment, do a comparison at the end, and decide, let you know which one I, I ended up picking. So the first one up is going to be, so let me three gear wrap, be out of here, is the Vertex Transit Slim. Now, Vertex is pretty much at the top of the game here with this these kind of slings and stuff. Get the camera situated, sorry. There we go. Um, this bag has some awesome features in it. Uh, first, these these bags are designed around concealed carry. That's Vertex's whole thing. They're designed around a weapon system, which is great. But that does have some drawbacks also. So what I like about this is the size. It's small. It, it's got, um, we'll just go over the, the features of the bag. But what I'm rating these bags on is a few different things. Um, one of them being the concealed carry apartment. That's an important one. The strap, the size overall, the value with the cost. The ability to take a soft level three plate, which Vertex excels at that. Um, and then some organizational things, some general build quality, and just like, you know, can it carry everything I need it to carry? Um, so really my ADC is pretty simple these days. I went over that last video. I do operate carry in a bag sometimes, like when I'm running errands, taking my kids. If I'm working from home, don't have a belt on, which I work from home every day now, so that's very common. Uh, I'll grab this and go. And I'll also take it to the gym. So this is also a gym bag, not just a EDC bag. And I'll show you in a different, in a minute, because it's already packed up, uh, what I take to the gym with me. But this bag um, was this is the smallest of the Vertex line as far as slings go. And it has some great features that I was really attracted to. First, I like the size. I like the Grayman look. You can't tell. It looks like a gym bag. You could even put like a Nike or Adidas um, patch on the Velcro there, and you would never know that it's not... Um, not a just a regular gym bag. I'm gonna try some here. I'm gonna be creative here with the lighting. This will work. It's not working at all. Why? Alright guys, so doing a new video, or um, this is the first bag, excuse me, in the series we're going to look at. This is the Vertex Transit Sling. I felt like this was a good replacement possibility for the 3V gear bag. It does definitely fix some of the issues I have with its much higher quality. It has higher quality zippers. The clean silk carry apartment's much better. It can take a level 3 armor plate. Um, there is a few drawbacks to this bag, so let's go ahead and go over those. So like the size, uh, the first compartment here is, um, you can just pull this down as I bump my light, and you can, uh, you have a, a Molly Velcro pouch here, um, you can attach patches to, it's got decent sized room here, so you can store things in here, I haven't really found anything to store in here yet, and it also has like a hidden compartment underneath it, so, um, it's really nice, you can want to hold documents and stuff, so, or anything you want to hide, your wallet, whatever, that's a good place for it. And then it has little straps here that you can attach here that have little hooks and you can like keep a jacket or a helmet or something. So it's got a lot of good um, good features there. But I wish, I'm going to say it right now, I wish this had an outside pocket. It doesn't. There's no exterior pocket on this except for in the back for the concealed carry. So that was my one, one nitpick on this bag. I don't like that. Uh, the first compartment here is your main compartment, and it's actually bigger than it looks. Um, it's all nice and gray inside, uh, all hook and loop on this. Um, um, actually, I don't think this is hook and loop, now I think about it. It's just really soft material. You might be able to Velcro things to this, but it's it's very um, soft. This is where I keep my, my gym straps, my... Um, let's get my lighting better in there. Let's see. There we go. That's where I keep my gym straps, my... Um, everything I carry to the gym and I usually like in this pocket here will keep my keys and my airpods and stuff like that but 
that's really the only pocket. I have to open the bag to put all that stuff. I don't like that on a 3B gear. It has an outside, a couple outside pockets that I like. Uh, you do have some nice organization here if you want to put pins, um, things like that, extra magazines. I usually carry a paper, pepper spray in there. And then I, I don't really use this. This is a laptop compartment. If it's a smaller size laptop, maybe like a smaller MacBook Pro, definitely fit an iPad. I don't think it'll fit my 15 inch MacBook. Um, I don't think it's designed to. And yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty small, but it's actually, it, it fits everything I need it to. That was one of the things. I needed a bag that would fit everything I needed it to, and it does do that. So that's a plus. Um, it does work for that. And everything else about this I like. This is a good contender, and it's, it's one of my favorite bags for sure. The zippers are high quality. They're YKK zippers. They've got nice poles on them. Um, the bag is nice quality. It's got a couple different grab handles here and there to easily take with me. And then the concealed carry apartment is where this bag shines, really. Uh, it has an insert here for your armor plate. You can do your level three plate in there. You also have a hook and loop all throughout this to do one of the VanQuest, uh, not VanQuest, um, 3B gear, like tactical holsters. You could do, um, what I actually ordered is QVO Tactical makes an attachment for this bag that's a, for the Safari Link QLS, and I have a QLS holster for my Glock that I off-white carry a lot. So it's perfect, it'll, uh, and I'll be coming here in a few days, it'll just Velcro on here, and then I'll actually use that Kydex holster instead of having those. I don't know a huge fan of those Velcro, Velcro holsters. But you could put extra mount pouches, all kinds of stuff. The back of the bag has a nice ventilated, um, really soft, you know, material. And then this is actually one of the coolest parts here, is if you did have a plate in there and you want to use this as a shield, you totally could. You, you, you just basically grab this in there, your hand, and then hold it up in front of you. So that works really well. Um, I dig that part. I really dig this bag. The only bad, the only things that I don't like about it is it doesn't have an exterior pocket. Besides having to rip this all the way open, just a small pocket up here um, or something like right here or somewhere would have been great. Just throw my keys and small things in there because um, this is just going to stay packed full of my gym clothes. Uh, not gym clothes, my gym stuff, my gym straps or anything. And then I usually just grab it and go to the gym. Also grab it and go when I'm running some errands when I don't have a belt on. So um, those are that, and then it doesn't have a water bottle pocket. That's another thing, because I'm at the gym, I need water, I need hydration, and I don't. it doesn't have a pocket anymore for that. I can use this, I can open this, and hold the bottle in there, and that's an, that's an alternative, which is it works. Um, it's not ideal, or you can actually store it in here, but then you kind of have to get it uh, into the bag um, and get the water out. So it, it it's not a deal killer by any means, but um, you know it, there's a couple things that I that's those are the two things I don't like. The other thing I don't like is, and I know everyone's gonna be like that's the whole design of the bag is this giant giant zipper tab. I get this is to quickly open the bag, to sling it around your shoulder and to quickly get into the compartment to get to your firearm. I get it, that's what it's for. But it's also like just this huge dingly thing that's like when I'm at the gym, I just, it, I don't know, it, it bugs me, I usually tuck it away. So I get it's there, it's a perfect design, honestly. Like, um, it's, it's a great design, but it's, for me, it's a little too obvious, you know? Um, I want it to be pretty, I mean, it has that big handle thing sticking down and just kind of looks goofy. So, again, these are nitpicky things. I get it's a design, and it, I guarantee it's the fastest bag to get into to get your firearm. But those are the things that I'm, I'm not a fan of on the Vertex Transit Sling. Other than that, it's a really good option. It comes in at around $100, 100 bucks, 100 depending on the colorway you go with. And there's discount codes out there. Talon Say has one. Uh, Last Line of Defense has one. Warrior Poets Society has one. Tons of 25% discount codes you can order directly from their website. I think I got this on Amazon for about 120 bucks. So that's about the normal price. Uh, you could get it a little cheaper going through one of those discount codes. So yeah, great bag. Comes in many different colors. I want just straight black just to look as inconspicuous as possible. So uh, great bag. Does have a few downsides in my opinion, but it would work for my application. All right, so the next bag we're looking at is the... Uh, LV10 sling bag from 511. I actually just picked this up yesterday. You can see it's got some of the tags on it still. And just look for the little eyewear compartment and CCW. They're really good at marketing their stuff. So um, it comes in multiple colors. This is a, uh, like a greenish gray color. They have a blue and a black. So there's three different colors. It's a little bit smaller than the transit sling, barely, but it really makes good use of space. Like there's a lot of good things about this bag. It does have some negatives. So 
First thing that I like better than the Vertex is it has an exterior pocket. And I usually will just throw my keys in here, my wallet. You know, I'll keep, I usually keep this first aid kit in here. It's all just easily accessible on the outside. I like that. Gotta have an outside pocket. Kind of almost a deal breaker for the Vertex. The Vertex has that one panel, but you have to really open that whole thing up. I just like a zipper pocket like this, it's simpler. So you got that. You've also got a top pocket that's felt lined for sunglasses. You can see I have my AirPods in there. I will also just dump things in here. It's almost like a dump pouch for me. I'll dump my keys, wallet, whatever, that I'm not gonna use at the gym, and I'll just keep it in there. So I like that. So far, so good um, on that feature. Also has, on the exterior, a huge water bottle pocket, and it will fit a good-sized water bottle. I've got like a thermoflask, um, clean canteen. It'll fit up to a 42-ounce bottle. It's huge. It, I mean, you can get your hand way down in there. It is big. It'll snap to make it smaller. You can smaller, <laughs> smaller. You can also buckle it down. So for me, this is a huge feature because I'm at the gym and I need to hydrate because this is not just an EDC. It's an EDC slash gym bag for me. In fact, I'm gonna go grab the video, the okay, water so bottle. This is the bottle I use. It's a Thermo flask, which is like a knockoff the hydro flask you can buy at Costco, two pack for like 16 bucks. They're really good bottles. Um, seal, they hold ice. I mean, there's still ice in here from yesterday, so over 24 hours. Yeah, really good. Um, they have this rubber thing on the bottom that kind of gets in the way, but it didn't that time. So, um, so that'll fit in there easily, and it just holds it externally. And I've got my water on the outside at the gym when I need it. Also good for DC stuff. So I like that feature a lot. That is definitely a great, well-designed feature on the 511 LV10. And you got these buckles if you want to use them. Okay, so that's like the exterior. Let's flip it around and look at the back. And this is one of the negatives of this bag is the strap. The strap is an important piece. And there's some really good things about this strap and some bad things. The first bad thing is look how flipping wide it is. It's like huge. Look at it compared to the Vertex. It's, I think, literally twice as big, which is weird. Also weird is it orientates for left shoulder carry, not right shoulder. I'm right-handed. The vertex is set up to go over, well, let's see. Let me think this through real quick. Sorry, left shoulder carry, and it swings around to the front. That's how the vertex works. Right? So... But I can also just carry it on my right shoulder with just the strap, and it still slings around to the concealed carry part. But this bag, it's kind of backwards. You have to use your left shoulder. Um, excuse me, it's right shoulder carry. So it goes over your right shoulder and then swings it around in front of you with your left hand. So it ha and it's the only way it can go. It's kind of backwards. The other sling bags I have, like the three V gear one the vertex a lot of them are set up the opposite way so that takes some getting used to but other than that and then the fat giant strap it's it's a nice strap one of my favorite features is this the buckle to tighten and, and loosen it is is awesome it's it's just a clamp that you can loosen it and tighten it and then you just press this down and it tightens it to the level you want and it stays i've noticed on the vertex it kind of moves around a little bit the whatever you have it set to as far as your your tightness, if you want to snug it up, it's just a lot more difficult. This is super intuitive, super easy to use. So I really dig that piece, that piece of it. Okay, so I just adjust my light a little bit. The back is, the concealed carry department is really good on this too. So it's, I'm going to open it up here and show you. And I've actually got it set up. Um, right now with the Polymer 80 Glock. So what I like about this a lot is that all this is hook and loop just like every other one, but it has a strap here that you can use a Kydex holster. You notice how this is clipped in and that's the Kydex holder I might put inside my waistband. So if I wanna transition really fast to inside the waistband carry with this, I super, I easily can. I can just unstrap it, pull it out, put it inside my waistband. I've also got a, Ma a VanQuest uh, magazine holder within a spare, uh, 20, there's 21 rounds in that. That's a plus six extension. So um, it opens all the way flat too, if you want it to. This side doesn't have any straps or anything. It's kind of smooth. This is your concealed carry side. Uh, another cool feature, it has these tabs here. So I saw a review, Gideon's Tactical. He was wondering what these were for. I'll show you what they're for. Because they, what they do is they stop the zipper right there. Now if you, it depends on which side you're gonna draw from. Now, I don't know why it has it on both sides because really it only works on one side, but you can do this where you 
where you basically stop your zipper here. This is used to pull open the compartment. So when you're seeing the bag around, you actually grab, you grab this strap is what I do anyway. And then you yank it and it pulls that open like that. And then you reach in with your right hand and grab it. And I'll do some demonstrations here in a minute with that, but that's how you grab it out. So I like this feature because it's a quick access like the um, Vertex bag, but it's so less obvious. It's just this little tap and you can just grab it when you swing it around and pop it open and get the bag out, the gun out. So I also like how the gun's orientated in this. It's orientated instead of being like an angle, which you can do it, but it's the way it's supposed to design is when you swing it around, you're actually reaching your hand in like this. So think of it, like the, this is coming around in front of it. It's like this, instead of being down like this at an angle, it's right here and it pulls out really quickly. So I do like that. I also like that concealed carry compartment a little bit better. I think it works really well and I like this tap quite a bit. Let's open up the interior of this, go over it. So you have, I've got all my stuff in here because this is the one I'm practicing or figuring out right now. You've got a, a thing here if it would fit an iPad or something. I'm gonna put a, uh, probably a plate in there, level three. Um, Premier Autobody makes one that does fit this bag. It's not designed for this bag, but it's near identical dimensions to another bag, the Bitco sling bag. So it, uh, it'll fit in there. You've got lots of, uh, Organization here, I put, I have pepper spray in there. And then if you flip it around, you've got hook and loop um, on, on the inside, also molly. So you could do a lot with patches and things, but this is literally how I carry it. I have my gym bag and my gym stuff in here. I've got my um, lifting belt, uh, an, an elbow brace for my freaking stupid tendonitis in my elbow. I've got some knee braces or some knee compression straps and or knee compression brace, I guess, and then um, wrist straps for, for bench pressing and stuff. So we've got all that that just sits in here easily. I could fill these up with anything. Right now I have nothing in there because I use the external pockets for my other stuff. So, and I like that. I like having all that stuff in the external so it's easy to put in there and grab, go, and yeah, on my way. I really like the LV-10 bag. The only downside to this bag, in my opinion, is the strap being orientated for right shoulder carry. It just seems a little weird. You have to train differently versus left shoulder carry, which most sling bags are set up for, or they can be switched. That's when you can't switch and you're kind of have to, it's just, it's going to take some training and getting used to. Also don't love this huge wide strap, but it is comfortable. I will tell you that much. It does have a third supporting strap. You can plug in right, not plug in, but um, clip in right here. One thing I don't like is you can't stow this. That doesn't give you a way to stow it. The Vertex bag has the same kind of strap, but you can stow it away. So... There's that. Um, so you can, I, what I do is I just kind of put it down here and, you know, kind of tuck it away. But I wish it, because I'm never going to use that. That's just not necessary for what I'm using it for. So I like the strap. I like the concealed carry compartment. I like the outside water bottle quite a bit. I like the interior, um, but it's a little bit smaller than the Vertex, which means it can't take as big of a uh, level three plate, which is important to me, which is one thing I like about the Vertex over this bag. So... There is a plate you get for it, but it's just a little smaller. This one will take a little bit bigger plate. Um, other than that, uh, if this is $109 retail at $511. I paid $89, I think, because I had a 20% off coupon. Um, and it's, uh, for that price, it's great quality, excellent design. Really, the only nitpicky thing I have is the way the, the bag is orientated and the way the strap, how big and thick the strap is. Other than that, this is literally like nearly a perfect solution. I just wish it was a little bit wider so it would take a little bit bigger plate other than that or have a dedicated plate area on the back. So like you have your Velcro and stuff there, you could just slap one in here but then it kind of crowds this area, right? It would be nice if there was like on the Vertex it has a Velcro strap or a Velcro closure here that you can actually slip slide it in. I would have loved to see that on the 511. I think if it had that and the strap was orientated to the right way, <laughs> um, it would be like nearly perfect. So, but nothing's perfect, right? It's a good option. It's a good value. Uh, it comes in three different colors. Definitely just looks like a normal bag. Doesn't look tactical to me at all. Very gray man. And it's been working. Uh, it'll work great, I think, for the gym and for my EDC. All right, guys, the last pack we're going to look at is the Carbide 12 from VanQuest. This is in Multicam Black, which is sick. Aesthetically, this is the best looking of the three bags, in my opinion, by far. Um, I have this exact VanQuest uh, Multicam Black in the Vendry, which I did a review on. 
And I, that's why I got this, because I'm like, hey, I like VanQuest, they make good stuff, and I like the, the Multicam Black a lot, so I'm gonna try this one out. So, I've actually got it all packed up how I would normally carry it, or use it. And again, as I've said many times, this is used as a gym bag as well as an easy bag. So there's a few things that need to work for this to, to be a good bag. And let's start with the strap. Strap is probably the weakest point of this bag. Now, it comes with two straps, actually. Um, you can actually disconnect, make it a back, or you can make it a backpack, or you can make it a sling bag, and they've got these quick disconnect buckles, which is really a nice feature. Another nice feature about the strap is this. It has a very similar um, function to what the 511 bag had, where it has like a adjustable clamp there, and you can just flip this open, adjust your strap length really easily, and then you can clamp it shut and it holds. So it's really adjustable, I like that. That was one of my favorite features on the 511 bag, and I'm most glad to see it on the VanQuest bag. However, the strap itself kind of sucks. It's like a piece of seatbelt. It's like literally you got in your car and you put on your seatbelt. That's exactly what this is. I don't understand the reasoning behind this, why they went with a seatbelt type material, not a real strap. And it's not very well, I mean, there's not a lot of stuff in here. There's a decent amount, but not a lot. And I noticed with, with having just this much weight, that strap's gonna be a no-go, it's gonna be uncomfortable. So unfortunately, that's a big time deal breaker. Uh, let's go back to the back. We might as well start there. Um, we'll talk about the concealed carry department because this is an important one. This actually works really well. These th these zipper pulls are really huge and they're easy to pull, so you can really just rip it open. And you can actually grab the bag, swing it around in front of you, and draw with this. So I've got it set up with the, the uh, a Velcro holster, which is one way you could do it, and um, Spear Magazine. Got the Glock 19X in there. It's the real deal. I think I had maybe in the other one I had a different one or I had the airsoft model. I can't remember not the the BB gun, but um, it, it fits in there, barely. Uh, not a lot of room. I don't love, I love the holster idea on the the uh, 511 LV10 because it allows you to use a Kydex holster without having to buy an adapter. I have bought an adapter from QBO Tactical to run a Safari Land style setup in here with Velcro, which will work better, but it's extra cost you have to use, right? But the, the, the 511, you didn't have to do anything. So uh, other than that, it's a nice bright orange, very visible um, and easy to get into. Not quite as easy as the other two bags because it doesn't have a dedicated pole like the van, the Vertex or the um, 511 has, but this is actually really handy. You can grab this, swing the bag around and rip it open pretty fast. And the zippers are Hawaii PK, really nice quality. So uh, you also have a grab handle here and then you have a compartment here. This is your main compartment, we'll unzip that. And I'll, I've, got it, I've got it set up where it's here. It only zips down to right there on that side, then it zip all the way around that side. It's because it's kind of set up to be a backpack and a sling bag, which is actually kind of a downside of this bag. I think they should have just gone dedicated sling because they make backpacks that are very similar to this. They're in the same um, the same uh, lineup. I, what do they call it? They call it, uh, crap, I can't remember. It, But it's like their Grayman style packs and they're great, uh, but they have a backpack that's not much bigger and even the same size as this. So why not just make this a dedicated sling bag? Kind of weird. Um, so I've got my weightlifting stuff in here, belts, and it's it's a little, it's definitely more cramped. Like I noticed, even though the the five eleven bag seems like it's smaller than the other two, it fits stuff better than the other bags do. Just how it's the space is used. So it doesn't fit. I mean, it does fit everything in here. I need it. It also has your um, Velcro uh, or your laptop sleeve or, or um, tablet sleeve here, and it has you know an enclosure here. You could easily put a uh, plate in there. So does meet that requirement without problem. It does carry my gym stuff, and it's got some in interior pockets that are really nice to see that are um, see-through, and you can access them from both sides. They have zippers on both sides, so that's really cool. And you can the, the, the nice thing about this bag is you can change the strap however you want to orientate it. So if you want to do left shoulder carry, right shoulder carry, no big deal, you can change it. So that's the main compartment, and then you have the outside compartment, which is clamshell, so it opens up all the way, like so. It's all hook, 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 line, hook and loop lines. If you want to add attach uh, pouches or anything like that, you can. Uh, you can see the water ball has to sit in here, and it's the only place for it. It does not even fit in the main compartment with my other stuff. It's like I said, this bag's a little cramped. So it can, it can work in here. It'll work. I've got my first aid kit, um, which I could throw maybe in this front. Yep, so that'll fit there. And then I've got a pepper spray here. Yep, oh, there we go. And then I got the bottle there, and then this kit, this is the one I use for my keys, AirPods, stuff when I get to the gym, just dump it. It's not on the exterior, like the um, 511 back has, but it does have a dedicated pocket, better than the, what the um, Vertex had. And the Vertex, I would literally just have to get into the main apartment, which I didn't want to do. So, 
So that's the outside. Um, you can see it's kind of snug with that water bottle. It all fits, it works. But with, like I said, this much weight, um, it definitely, this strap is a big time issue because it just isn't comfortable. And it's not like I'm gonna go hiking with it or anything, I'm just grabbing it to go. So the grab panels work great for that and I'm gonna be at the gym, but I am gonna sling it over my shoulder often. And I do want it to be comfortable carrying the gear I have. So it, I'm kind of, I'm torn because I love this color. I love the aesthetics of this bag. It's the best looking bag of the three and it has functionality and it would definitely work for my application. The value is also good. You can get it for $109 on the VanQuest website and you can get a 5% coupon code just by signing up their email. And I do, they do free shipping anything over hundred bucks. So, and then they have a really good warranty. One thing we didn't talk about, which I'll wrap up the video with is talking about warranties of all the companies. All three companies have great warranties, So you have nothing to worry about there, but I like everything about this bag aesthetically and I like the price point and I, I just, it just won't work. I mean, the strap is a huge issue for me. It's like, what were they doing with the seatbelt? I, I don't, I don't get that. It's the same material they used on the fanny pack. And on the fanny pack, it makes sense. But on a sling bag, you need a little bit beefier strap. So the strap is definitely a no-go. Concealed carpet carton works fine. Um, even though it doesn't have a dedicated, you know, um, tab or anything, it will open and shut just fine. So, you know, it is what it is there. Um, but it's just a little crammed with everything with the water bottle and all the stuff I have to have. So for me, probably not gonna be the Carbide 12. All right guys, so here they are, the three finalists. And which one am I gonna choose? Well, if you've watched the whole video, you probably figured out I'm leaning towards the 511 LV10. The main reasons why are the external water bottle pocket is super well done and, and nice and it's external, so it doesn't take up any space inside. With both of these, I have to run them inside the bag and it just takes up more space. So that's a, a negative there. The other thing that was important, obviously, was the strap. The strap on the LV10 was a little big, but it's super comfortable. And it and it, even though it's oriented on the right shoulder, I ended up setting up this bag the same way. Um, this weakness on both, on this one anyway, was the strap. The Vertex is fine. The strap's great on the Vertex. So um, the concealed carry apartment was another important feature. This tab works really well. I can swing the bag around with this and I can open it really quickly with that. Uh, and I can reach in like this as well as having the ability to run my holster without having to buy a, you know, a different amount. I can actually just any holster. So any gun I want to carry, it doesn't have to be this specific particular one. If I want to carry a different gun, I can just take that holster, stick it on there, put the magazine in there. Boom. I don't have to like run a, a crappy generic Vul Vulcan holster. And I also don't have to buy the adapter, even though I already bought it, um, to run, you know, a Kydex holster from, as I mentioned. Also just really like the space the, it's it's actually the smallest bag of the three when you look at them side by side as far as like it's narrower it it fits more things and it does it just fits them better like it has two external pockets versus this one really doesn't have an external pocket you have to open this but it's even better than that that's just like a dump pouch almost um so organization is better on the 511 as well and price wise they're all right in the same market I and mean, they're all within 10 20 bucks of each other so that's the value is good on all three brands. All three brands are well known for high quality materials. The 511 is nice because there's a local store in my area. So if I run any problems with this bag, I can always take it back and they'll exchange it. They have great return policy. They've exchanged pants for me that are like two years old because they wore down. So 511's got a great warranty. So as does VanQuest and as does Vertex, they all have good warranties. So you don't really have to worry there. Um, if I had to narrow it down to two, it'd be the Vertex and the, five, and the 511. I would. The, the biggest deterrent from this, again, what I talked about was the strap and just how crammed it is with everything in there. So if I had to not, if narrow it down, it'd be these two. Now, I would say that I like everything about the Vertex. The one thing that's missing, two things that are missing, external water bottle pocket, external pocket on the outside for small items like the keys, AirPods, stuff like that. Those are the two things I didn't like about this. Other than that, this bag is like literally awesome. It's great. I highly recommend it. I recommend all three bags, but more so these two than the other. Um, great strap, has the ability to run it as a shield, Has can run a little bit bigger plate. All those things were making me lean towards the Vertex out of the box before I even, even got my hands on this guy. 
I almost didn't buy the 511 bag. I was at the 511 store and I tried it on. And because it had it oriented on the right shoulder, I thought, that's weird. I don't like it. But I'm glad I didn't because once I actually used it and put it to use and carried it and said, man, I, and just everything else about it was better. It's really, a, I mean, an ideal sling bag. It really is. I do like that you can get a little bit bigger plate for this, but I can get a plate for this or the Van, the VanQuest one. So that's not an issue. Um, really, it came down to the, to the external water bottle pocket holder and the organization was a little better and the ability to run a Kydex holster with that strap. That was a really good idea by 511. Not only can you run a Velcro holster, you can actually run Kydex holster through that. And I really like that because that's what I run. I, I run Kydex. So ultimately, I, I, I'm i still a little torn, honestly. I just wish, man, this thing had an external water bottle pocket holder. Boom, it would have won. I would have picked it because I could have got over the uh, two things. If I had that and the external pocket. This was just too inconvenient to like have to dump pouch it and to get the water bottle and all my stuff. And I had to put my keys and everything in the internal pocket. It just didn't work for me as well. I also am not a huge fan of this. I know it works fast. No doubt in my mind, this will be the fastest bag to deploy the gun if you need to. I just, it just was huge. Just hung down. This was more subtle. It worked really well. And I would say they're pretty close as far as draw times. I may do a video showing that, but Maybe not. We'll see. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Um, I think they're good options, all three of them. The LV10 actually ended up being the winner for me. Uh, it was a really close race between these two, but due to those things I mentioned, the LV10 came out on top. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.